Okay, in this project, we want to make it um, interesting tree and then animate the growth of that with the Cinema 40 tools. First, we draw a spline, then sweep them. Then we clone that sweep on the spline. Then control the shape, rotation, and the position of the branch with a step, random, and of course, play with the pivot point of the sweep. Let's start and learn a lot of interesting options. Okay, let's begin to create a trunk of the tree with a sketch. We create, yeah, this is our trunk, nice, <laughs> but it's very bad. Yeah, this is our trunk. Call it T. And another spline for a uh, branch, a simple branch but not here a simple branch yeah call it branch and let's begin with the sweep so it's so big nice so this is our branch as you can see the in this lesson we want to uh, explain you how to change the access the access some cloner is very important first the access of this is exactly at the bottom it's nice we create a circle for this sweep we bring two sweep and the two circle sorry <clears throat> uh, i want to sweep this circle for branch for trunk to the trunk nice we change this circle nice and <clears throat> then go to the sweep in the detail change the scale of the end like this nice then let's create the uh, sweep for branch this is our circle of this branch and of course the at uh, the circle we need a smaller <clears throat> and in a sweep in the scale nice but the axis is very important if you want to sweep this branch to clone this you use a clone we use a clone or we want to clone this branch this branch to the surface of this to the spline of that trunk so we clone this branch on an object which object the spline of the this trunk and as you can see we have a problem <clears throat> it's distribution and it is about uh it isn't t yeah this is spline and as you can see it's because of the axis it's go there but if you change the axis of the sweep turn off the axis and change the axis as you can see they are snapping to the it's put it's in its correct way so we turn off the cloner and <clears throat> we need to exactly assign the axis of the cloner to the axis of the uh, to uh, snap the axis of the pivot, pivot point of this branch exactly at the bottom turn on the axis tool and simply bring it there you can use a snap but it is nice for me in here and turn it off don't forget and now turn the clone and as you can see it's correct nice you can in a cloner in a distribution take it to the even take some count and we want to correct this issue like this and we want to begin it from begin to the small so we need a step effector so we select the cloner and go to move graph effector step and as you can see according to the this uh way uh, this spline this shape it's going from small to the but we want to reverse it you can right click and 
and or flip vertical like this from big to the small nice in a parameter you can assign exactly what you don't what you want yeah like this but we are going to flip it again and now it's the thing that one from big to the small of the <clears throat> tip of the trunk and uh, as you can see we need a random to rotation you can go here uh, in the cloner if you transform rotate it as you can see it's rotate even uniformly because we need a random another effector effector <clears throat> random random in i think it's a factor yeah yeah random we need a random not in the position random for rotation which angle yeah no no that's not not yeah this angle this angle change it you can make it up axis if you want and nice we can randomize it if you want it like this but uh, <clears throat> another important thing that we need uh for example going to cloner going to the object and we have to change the start and end because we clone on a spline you can change the start as you can see you can move your branches on a sweep and make correct that issues like this nice this is our branch you can randomize it anything that you want okay so because we clone on a uh, not safe face because of the clone on a as you can see we clone on a this sweep this as you can see this is an spline you can uh, animate them if you want okay let's see you can animate them if you want interesting effects like this <clears throat> by rate or uh, right click sorry right click here uh, or you can change the end and the start uh, of that or change the offset if you want make it higher small uh, lower so uh, you or you can turn on the smooth rotation to better smooth so this is a benefit of uh, define a spline as an object nice everything is done Another interesting thing that you can add to make this up, play with the axis of the sweep. This is our sweep. If you turn the cloner off, that was our sweep. And here you can turn the axis and play with the axis. Interesting. As you can see, if you change, you can change the axis of the sweep and make the... Uh, this three more natural and change the rotation of the uh, object on a cloner that we clone on a spline this lesson is very important because you learn how to play with the axis and pivot point to um, control your rotation we have full control go to the spline go to go to the spline go to the uh, random go you can control your rotation position and the scale of your branches on a tree on tools of cinema 40 nice <clears throat> okay now we want to animate the growth going to sweep the trunk and end growth we want to do that or you can use a moist line if you want we want to use it <clears throat> from zero to here and oh sorry make it growth click here to animate this is our growth no, oh it's very fast <clears throat> oh sorry i can't select it nice nice and after that we want to growth these branches and growth from here is zero and in this frame it's 100 percent you can animate the end growth of sweep tool and let's play interesting so this is our tree growth with cinema 40 tool hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us 
and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.